and I got a nice little case to put the GoPro in. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Check this out, the mailman came through. I got two brand new batteries for the GoPro and I got a nice little case to put the GoPro in. Pretty cool, huh? Either way, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, didn't really pay a lot of money for it, so it's a win-win right now. And today, oh, yesterday, we made that other video. And we got this garage pretty clean. I went ahead, I threw the engine that was in here before, I threw it in the engine stand. That's a perfectly good running engine that's sitting there. We might build this for either Boost or NA. I always wanted to build a NA and a Boost. So what my plans were before was to have an NA engine build and then have my boost engine build and when one would blow up i would drop the other one in but now that we got everything for the boost boosted engine i think i might just save this so when this one blows i could take parts off of this one for this one but either way fingers crossed that it doesn't blow either way um today we're going to be installing our charge pipes we're gonna be modifying the front bumper so I could get the front bumper on there I do have a lot of little things that I have to like do still um, I, we got that transmission bracket that goes underneath we got to shoot the timing um, we got the reservoir for the windshield washer we got the FMU we got um, the little plate that goes on here and to hook up our exhaust system try to rig it on there somehow and yeah with that being said let's just go ahead and start putting all this piping on and see what this is going to look like check this out look at all the sparkle i don't know if the camera picks this up but look at all the sparkle where the sun's hitting the paint looking extremely glossy Everything is in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I could get that front bumper to go on there. Looks like we're gonna have to do a lot, a lot of trimming.
we are gonna have to cut right here all of this a lot of this webbing out to see if we can clear the bottom piece because right now it's just hitting right here with this lip that's right here so i'm gonna go ahead and trim all that out wow well so much for having a new case for my gopro this kind of sucks We lost the cover to the GoPro, but the casing's still kind of good. This is the lens that protects the lens, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. I got the bumper all chopped up. You guys don't want to see the mess that I made in there because I really took the grinder and just cut everywhere. You can see all the stuff over here yeah this is how i did it i don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way of doing this but i just went ahead and i trimmed everything that i needed to get rid of that was in the back of that webbing then this thing this is the grill the grill is all cracked all over the place so i went ahead and i took the grinder to right here to make it fit around those bolts that hold the intercooler and it just ripped off a big chunk out of it which doesn't matter because you guys already know this is the sleeper build and eventually i'm going to be painting this car i'm going to be taking good care of it making it look nice and everything but for right now for the time being we're just going to go ahead and send it with the sleeper build so i'm going to go ahead and get both of the sides on there because right now there's really nothing holding it on but these little things that i put on here just to mock up the bumper so i'm gonna go ahead and secure the whole bumper down line it up correctly and then i'll show you guys what it looks like this is what we're looking like right now pretty good um i have some things that i gotta go do right now but when i get back i'll go ahead and continue this video I'm back. Um, we're gonna go ahead and install the oil catch can back in the same spot where it was in the other car. It's gonna go right over there because there's already a little port right here that, that has threads on it. So we're gonna go ahead, get it mounted. And I gotta make this quick because my other video is about to premiere. I wanna go watch it with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just install the little bracket first.
I still have 20 minutes before my premiere starts for the first start video. So what I am gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this wire, we're gonna do a little hack. And this hack, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm not running a thermostat in my thermostat housing. Why? Because I already know that this engine's gonna be running hot and I'm trying to keep it as cool as possible. So what I am gonna do is I am gonna put a thermostat, but not yet. I'm gonna wait till October or November when I'm gonna need the temperature to be a little bit warmer in the cab. So right now, what we are gonna do is we are actually gonna bypass the fan. So therefore the fan will be on at all times. So this is gonna help a lot with the cooling. Just how I, I have no thermostat in there to help it cool the vehicle down, we're gonna have this fan on at all times. So keeping this fan on at all times is gonna help out a lot with the temperature. So the first thing we gotta get is a wire, any kind of wire. And just like I did, take these ends off, just like that. The next step is to go to your thermostat housing this works on all Civics, on all, pretty much all Hondas, I would say. Um, you take your wiring harness off, the little pigtail that runs to your thermostat housing. This pigtail should be a green wire and a black wire. Let me go ahead and bring you guys closer so you guys can look in there. This wire right here. Here's your housing. VTEC got disconnected. But either way, here's your housing. And this is the plug right here. It's green and black. And some people will cut off the pigtail right here and just splice both of those wires together. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to put this wire in there it's gonna be looped from this end to that end and then I'm gonna take the plug and plug it back in that's what I'm gonna do and I want to show you guys how this thing turns on so I went ahead and I bypassed this so now my fan should turn on as soon as I turn the key let me show you guys let me go turn the key So I turn the key and you guys can see that the fan is spinning. Now watch what happens when I unplug this. You get it right there. You guys see that? It killed the fan. So if I plug it back in, the fan works again. So if I plug this guy back in here, the fan isn't turning on because this isn't reading the correct temperature yet. So therefore, by me doing this, bypassing everything, it makes my fan turn on at all times, which is what I want to keep the temps down at all times. I got the wire looped right here, pretty good. Um, and I went ahead and I threw some tape all around it just to hold it in place. If I ever don't want it, I can just remove it at any time and check it out. That's all I did. I did was push it in there and then put it back where it was. And let me show you guys that whenever I turn on the car, well not turn it on, whenever I turn the key and everything gets power, that that fan turns on. You can hear it on already. And then if I unplug it, it's still gonna be on because that's how it's getting the power, unless if I pull one of those out. So I don't have to worry about something happening 
where I'm gonna lose that clip or anything. Um, I do have to plug the VTEC back in. And as soon as I do that, I'll call this a video. All right, VTEC is plugged in. Um, I think this is gonna be the end of the video, but let me tell you guys right now that tomorrow we are gonna shoot the timing and we are gonna take the Civic for a little rip around the block. With that being said, I'll catch you guys on my next video. I'm about to join you at the premiere right now. Peace out, stay safe. Catch you guys oh, later.